hello everyone welcome back to my channel sums print so today i'm going to show you how the text file can be converted into columns so sometimes if i'm talking about myself uh, i'm working within the finance industry so when i ex i export the file from one of our system it gives me in the text file right and uh, then uh, there are many mistakes in that file so i have to find out the mistakes if you are going to find out in the text format it's gonna be really hard so then i convert the file into excel format and then find out the mistakes fix those mistakes and then again rejoin that uh, file into the text format and then I upload that file into our system that's what I'm doing but uh, mm, I'm going to show you how the text file can be converted into columns so um, uh, I have one of the file with me that is uh, this is the file I do have with me so um, what I do I export this file then I need to find out some mistakes because the when I upload this file if there are any mistakes the system doesn't pick um, those mistakes right then I fix the, the, those mistakes and then uh, save it and then again upload it to the system um, but first uh, let's learn how to uh, convert uh, the text, text file into columns right so uh, what is uh, text to column means text to column feature allows us to divide text into multiple columns according to a defined or preset width there are two ways to add columns to uh, text to columns a delimiter such as a comma or hyphen can be used as an input alternatively a fixed width, width can be used to divide text in alongside columns so let's jump on it and then learn how to uh, text file can be converted into columns but before that if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel now i will be very thankful for that so here i do have this data with me uh, this is the text file i want to convert this text file into columns so um what we need to do just control a and then control c right we have copied the data and then go to um, excel and then control v paste it here now the data has been pasted here now we need to convert this one so just select the first column go to data and then go to text to column text to column we are going to delimitate it so we are going to delimitate yes next and then we are going to delimitate it by comma because my uh, uh, let's do this one first and then i'll show you right uh, delimitate it and then next and then general yes and then finish it so this has been converted into columns the reason why i chose comma because if i go back to my text file and then if i see the headers there let's check the header this is the header the first uh, first is company name then comma and then the invoice number then comma then date and then customer po numbers then document type and then the item numbers and so on because we are delimited it by comma so that's why i used comma here right so we have converted our file into columns in this way we are a uh, converted file so what i do next so when i converted the file then i need to find out the um what that first that called the uh, mistakes right if some sometimes there are some errors i need to fix those errors suppose i have fixed the errors here i'm not going to show you what type of errors we need to fix now the file is ready um, uh, from column to text format again right so how we can rejoin that one to rejoin that one what we need to do we need to use uh, one of the another function that is called text join so what is text join function text join function concatenates multiple values together with or without a delimiter it can concatenate values provided as cell reference ranges or constants and can optionally ignore empty cells to join cells in the range with the comma or text join so this is how we use the text join and then the second argument ignore empty sometimes there are some uh, empty columns co that controls behavior for empty cells and text values if we set true 
empty values are skipped so that the delimiter is not repeated in the final result if set to false then text join will include empty values in the output so i have to include the empty values so that's why i'm going to use false here so let's see how we can rejoin that one so so what we need to we need to use text join text join we are going to join it by commas wherever the commas there we need to join that one and then if there's any empty space i need that one too so that's why i'm using false if there's no then you can use a true so we are we are going to join sheet 14 so column a2 uh sorry column a2 t1 a1 to t1 right and then hit enter so we have joined our first column so now simply drag it down we need to check how many rows here so we have to drag it down to 1050 right so where we have done so 1050 so simply drag it down till the end and then you we have right we have joined the uh, column into text now so our text file is ready again so what we need to we just need to copy and then if you want to so we what we can do with the delete the old data and then copy the new one and then paste it on the text file and then you can save it so in this way we can we have learned how to convert the text file into columns and then once we um, done with the mistakes or whatever the changes you want to do in that file once we done with the changes and we want to convert that text uh, column file into text again then we have used our text join formula so in this way we can use these formulas so hope aapko video pasand aayi hogi pasand aayi to please like share and subscribe don't forget to hit on the bell icon button Thank you and then uh, see you again with the new video. Thanks. Bye.